Hey, what's up everybody? Look what I've got. It's the Nintendo Switch. It comes out March 3rd for $300. Here is the official unboxing. We're gonna take care of that right now. Let's see what's inside, what you get for $2.99 in the box of the Nintendo Switch. Let's see the tablet and those Joy-Con controllers. Let's take this out. All right, we've got an HDMI cable, some power junk. Here's the Joy-Con grip, I think they call this. You can attach these guys and use it as a standard controller. We've also got the uh, little bumpers for the uh, controllers, for those Joy-Con controllers. I can show you what one of those looks like right there. Check that out. It slips onto the side. And then you've got what appears to be the dock. This is where the switch tablet, the switch pad, the switch screen, whatever you want to call it, this is where it's going to live and sit. You can see that right there. Let's get a closer look at the screen. How about that? Real, real light, real compact. There you have it. There's the screen for the switch. And what I'll do is, uh, got a little USB-C port under there. Volume controls, all that stuff. Looks like a, a vent at the top, too. Maybe this baby will heat up a little bit. We'll have to wait and see. I'm going to attach uh, one of these controllers here. Easy enough. And I'll t attach this last one. So you can see what the whole tablet assembled looks like. There it is. There you have it. Pretty cool. All right, that was easy. Uh, I've also got some accessories I want to show you guys. Uh, this looks like a carrying case, which will be really useful because, man, I'd be scared to scratch that thing up. Um, this is extra, though. This doesn't come with the three with the two ninety nine package. So we got like a little space here for some games. Some other goodies you could fit in that little mesh pocket. I don't know. How am I? Am I doing that right? That's that works. See, this is like that's pretty substantial in size. It's like one of those like visors or something. I don't know. Sun visors. All right. Also comes with a um, a uh, what is this screen protector, which you know makes me a little nervous. Okay, you're 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 going you're leading with that. Maybe this screen. Needs to be protected. That worries me because I worry about that kind of stuff. But uh, there you have it. We'll let that live in there and then let's check out. So this is where it gets confusing. What comes with the actual kit is this. Uh, uh, it, this is a grip for the Joy controls. It doesn't charge them. You have to buy a separate charging grip for them to charge those two little Joy-Con controllers. When, when they're not plugged in, which is, you know, not the best, but that's, that's what we're dealing with. And they're, man, they're really identical, right? So this is what you get uh, when you pay for the Joy-Con charging grip. That's this guy right here. The one that comes in the box with the Switch console is this one. They look nearly identical, but the difference is the charging one has this sort of translucent back. I don't know if you can tell. Um, it's a little dark, but the translucent back it also has the, char the USB-C charger at the front, whereas the uh, non-charging one doesn't have that, if you can make that out there. So yeah, uh, if you want this grip to charge those Joy-Con controllers, you need this guy, uh, and that's an extra cost. So just put that out here as well. All right, so that's what you get with the Joy-Con charging grip. And then finally, the last accessory that I feel like everybody is going to want, um, just judging on, on our sort of preview stuff, is the Pro Controller. Um, this is $70, but it looks like it might be the best way to play games. Again, we haven't really had enough time to make that declaration, but that's sort of the vibe we've been getting. Uh, so here is what's inside the box for that. It has its own USB-C charger just like everything else, and uh, yeah, there you go.
here is the Pro controller for the Switch. Real nice translucent sort of uh, design there. Got a USB-C port at the top. And just a real, yeah, yeah, this feels right. I haven't played a lot with this, but yeah. This feels like where you want to be, maybe over these guys. But again, we don't know just yet. Big bummer though, it's $70. That's a, that's a lot of money to pay. That's nearly a third of what the whole console costs. But that's the pricing structure we're left with. All right, and then uh, this, is, this is the game we're going to look at. It's, uh, it's a pretty small case. If you remember the Vita cases, that's like the closest thing I can think of. Um, not the Vita ones, the, um, well, the Vita or the PSP ones, if, you, uh, if your memory goes back that far. All right, so inside, okay. Not a whole lot going, not a whole lot going on. Just this little tiny card. That's, that's, that's pretty sad. That seems like a little bit of a waste, but we're not gonna point any fingers. Let's see what it looks like when you put the game in the console. Can we do that? Oh wow, get a close up of this little, tiny, little game. They figured it out. Modern science is amazing. Somehow Link is inside here. Look at this. I'm gonna uh, put this inside the Switch. Let's see, where, there's the game card. Can you get a close up of that there? You see that? That's where you pop in the game cards. Okay, there you go. Spring loaded, very nice. We're all set to go, but I can't turn it on. Not yet. We're gonna have a full review in the coming days and you're gonna find out whether or not this whole thing is worth it. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Jeff Bacalar. We'll see you soon.